I'm ready to tackle the next item on my Thanksgiving checklist, pumpkin ginger snap cheesecake. I'm just gonna make the crust first. I've got a package of ginger snaps, and I'm gonna let the food processor grind them up. I want to get them really fine. Okay, the crumbs look perfect. Oh, I love the smell of ginger snaps. I'll add some brown sugar and some chopped pecans. I chopped them pretty fine. And a dash of salt. There's a lot of sweetness in here. I'll just stir this together and mix it up. To bring the crust all together, I'll drizzle in some melted butter. This is about six tablespoons of butter, not too much. You just want enough to make the crumbs come together. All right, the crumbs look delicious. So I'll just dump them into a springform pan. And then I'll just use my fingers to press it into the bottom of the pan. And I want to bring the crumbs up along the sides of the pan by about half an inch. Before I pour the filling into the crust, I'm just going to chill it for about 30 minutes. So while the crust chills, I'm going to go whip up the delicious filling. So I'm just going to get a whole bunch of cream cheese into the mixer and beat it until it's soft, scraping the bowl once. I'll add a can of pumpkin puree and mix that in, scraping it again. Then I'll add three eggs, one at a time. That's the first, the second, and the third. Okay, now it's in with sour cream. And next, with the mixer on low, I'm gonna add sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla. I'll really scrape the bowl before giving it all one final mix. Okay, that's done. Ready for the next step. The crust should be all set. Yep, looks good. Now I'm just gonna pour this luscious filling right in. This stuff is divine, delightful, all the adjectives that begin with D that I can think of. <laughs> I'll just spread this into a single layer. Lad dropped me off and he actually has to go back out there and work a little bit. I'm sure he won't get as much done without me helping him, but he'll get by. <laughs> All right, the cheesecake just needs to go into a 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes. Now, while the cheesecake bakes, I'm gonna whip up a delicious salted caramel sauce to drizzle over the top. Not only is it yummy on the cheesecake, but it's also good to drizzle over all the other pies that people are bringing. It's so easy to whip up. Here goes. I just get some butter into a pan, along with brown sugar, heavy cream, vanilla, and some salt. Then I'll gently whisk it for five minutes or so, just until it thickens. Now I'll just get the sauce into a jar. Oh, look at that sauce. So thick and rich. Dessert tomorrow can't come soon enough for me. Now this is the moment that the cheesecake gets freed from its pan. I put it on a cake stand and it goes on the island. And let's just pause for one small second for a dessert fantasy.